we have here, based on lengthy research, a device that's capable of helping the body increase perfusion and, uh, and lower the inflammatory response. Therefore, it's facilitating the body to repair itself at a much faster rate, re returning normal function to whatever's impeded. So, I mean, this, this is almost like saying, whatever ails you, put a light on it. And I, I, I don't like, it's beautifully said, I never like to say it's a panacea and, and you know, it cures everything, but, but, but it does do a lot based just on what you said is that you hit it right on the, the head is that it, it can be used to address a lot of different um, ailments and problems. And what sort of problem of humanity is it going to solve? So chronic pain in people, as you know, is, is across the, the planet. People experience it. Young people experience it, work out too hard. Older people experience it uh, for poor diet and health and, and underlying diseases. And the methods to treat pain are methods that involve taking a drug. When you take a drug, right, it uh, goes through your system. It goes into your stomach. There's compounds that are synthetic compounds, they're chemicals, and they go through your body. And I think most people will tell you if they've taken pain medications, it clouds their mind, it clouds their judgment, it makes them feel sleepy, it makes them feel going through the day mm, strange. It, it may relieve the pain, but it also makes them feel, feel strange. And right. so our idea and why people should be pay attention to this and why you should be interested in our product is <clears throat> we use light and the light uh, is shown to stimulate uh, an ATP chain reaction in cells. So the, the light actually activates chromophores within the cells. And this is the biology, the underlying science that uh, I've worked on for, for 20 years. So there's the absolute scientific effect of it. But that wavelength of light, as Attic pointed out, is not prevalent in our atmosphere today. It was, you know, centuries ago. Uh, it only comes to 30,000 feet. So one has to scratch their head and say, why does our body have a mechanism that responds, proven scientifically, responds to 980 nanometer light if it is not in this atmosphere? So that's always been to, to get really clear. You're saying that the 980 nanometer actually is filtered by the atmosphere and does not normally reach down to where we are. Correct. It doesn't come below 30,000 feet. Aha. Uh -huh. But it did in biblical times. But modern day industrial atmosphere, it doesn't make it down. But our body has a mechanism within that responds to that wavelength of light, and okay. so it's a very a very fascinating. Uh, that's a thing for me as, as the scientist and inventor to say, oh, this is really uh, interesting and intriguing. And why does this happen? And, and what benefits does it have? And so when you apply the 980 nanometer light uh, to a wound, you can accelerate the closing of the wound. When you apply it to a body that is in pain, it has two mechanisms of act action. It's absorbed. Uh, the photons interact with the cells and the absorption creates a warmth and uh, creates vasodilation. So you have really two things happening with, within it, stimulation of the, the cells and the vasodilation. And so together, this uh, combination helps alleviate pain without popping a pill and it's some synthetically generated you know, drug mechanism in it that does other things to your body that you don't want it to do. There is the light. And, and that is all. So one of the things that I've, I've always kind of been enlightened to is to say this product not only helps relieve your pain, but it helps ignite your spirit. And I can tell you as a therapist uh, who's provided laser therapy for 20 years to people that I've turned lives around. Why? Because people come off their drugs that are causing them all sorts of, of uh, aches and, and headaches and, and problems. They come off their drugs, they move around, they feel better. Because they feel better after getting a light treatment, they think, well, maybe I'll go for a walk. They start to go for a walk and they say, oh, um, geez, I should maybe eat a little healthier. I'm starting to feel better. 
And so I always have described this to people as a downward spiral versus an upward spiral. If you take a drug, you lose your energy, you sit at home, you watch TV, you don't move around, you slow down, the muscles don't get moved around, your circulation becomes poor. But if you, that's a downward spiral. If you can activate the cells, create energy and light and have people feel better and say, I feel better, my mind's not clouded, I'm gonna go for a walk. Now they're getting more exercise. They start to realize, hey, this exercise, maybe I should eat healthy. They get in this upward spiral. And I've watched so many patients of mine over the years that have gone from this downward spiral reversal to you know, just watching their health improve, losing weight, gaining more energy, starting to work out again. And it really makes a difference. And that's just from the light. It's not popping a pill. All right. And so that's, that's why I'm so passionate about the product because I've been able to use it as a, as a clinician and as somebody that helps uh, treat people. Right. I understand you have two versions of it. It's the professional version and the uh, home use unit, right? Yes. So there's a, a home device and uh, that's for people that can, uh, maybe they, they have adjunctive therapy, maybe they're going to a physical therapist, uh, but they can use this at, at home. It can be used frequently. Uh, and then the professional version is a, a laser. It's a class four laser. And that class four laser can be used to treat people in a clinician's office or used by somebody like myself that's a roving therapist that can actually bring the, uh, the laser around into people's homes and offices and, and uh, treat them. Or you can have people that want to learn how to use it, become a, a light therapist, become a laser therapist, and uh, they can treat their families and friends and, and neighbors and uh, um, you know, make a living if that's what they're guided to do. And we also have the belief that also the people that, you know, who are able to pay twenty and thirty thousand dollars for their cars or five, fifteen thousand for their beds, they can also afford a real healing device and put it in their home and throw away all the other drugs and things. And that's why we say a healing light for every home, because even homes can afford the, the larger model. Right. You okay. can buy a car that, you know, a car can be two or three times as much as a device, a small box that you can learn how to use, be trained how to use and treat your whole family with. All right. So okay. That, so so that, the, well, let's just say it up front. So the, the professional or half class four laser is what, in the $20,000 range? It's under 20,000. Yes. But not below 15. Uh, no, no, it's not below 15. It's, uh, it's, uh, sits right at the, the, the 18,000 price point. If okay. you can buy accessories and other fibers and things like that with it, of course you can, you can move the price up, right. but it's, uh, typically in the 18,000. Sure. So for anyone who with a larger family, who's uh, spending $5,000 some at a crack to try and get better, this, this is peanuts. Right. Because you could lease the device and a, a, the lease is $380 a month. So my car payment is more than that. So as most people's are, or people go spend two hundred dollars at a dinner at a at a local pub dinner and drinks. Okay. But for just a little bit more, look what you can do to heal. Right. So rather than say the home and the pro, we also like to say the economy version and the more affluent version. Okay. And so the personal portable uh, version. That's uh, what does that sell for? So that uh, sells for $599. Okay. And is that uh, good enough to treat a, well, treat is, of course, we can't treat anything. We're not allowed to diagnose. That, it's a good question that you're, you're asking is what, why shouldn't everybody just use the $600 device or the $599 device? Uh, it uses the same light science. So it looks on the surface like it might be a bank of LEDs, but these are single wavelength light emitters. So they're very special and they're 980 nanometers only. There's no uh, bell-shaped curve of different wavelengths. It's 980 and the power density across the surface of it is meant to be of a therapeutic range. Now, granted you, a laser treatment with a professional device might be 10, 10 minutes. Uh, here, you would keep the device on for 30 minutes. Um, you know, this device, the home device, you could use a couple of times a day. So it's not as powerful as a class four laser, 
but it will actually over time uh, have the same effects. Just takes mm -hmm. uh, longer and more time to treat. Right. But um, it's meant to be very easy to use. So, yeah, it's easier for me to uh, sit and read a book while I uh, have my feet on top of this device or, or put it on my chest. Or where would you typically apply it? So wherever people, it hurts? Yeah, where, wherever it hurts, so wherever your pain point is. So, uh, I know a lot of people that have uh, diabetic neuropathy in their feet. Uh, so, they, they set their feet on it. Um, I'm a guitar player, so and I'm getting older, <laughs> and so my hands are taking a hit, you know, with a, a, a little bit of arthritis. So I use it on my hands a lot when I'm just sitting comfortably in the evenings. I can rest my hand on it. A lot of people use it for their sciatica. They just put it behind their back, and uh, they they rest while they're sitting up in the chair. Uh, there are people that are using it on their hips, uh, knees. Works very well for people that are having uh, knee surgery helps reduce the inflammation and the, and the post-surgical swelling and the pain uh, that, that uh, can be exhibited okay. after you have a, a knee surgery. So it can really be used anywhere in the body. The only place you wouldn't do use it is you wouldn't put it over your eyes. Wonderfully illustrated brochures that show you how and where to apply it. And we have special Velcro straps that go along with it that keep it so it wouldn't fall off of an area you're treating and mm. they're really quite marvelous. Are those straps included or is that an extra option? Nope, the, there's uh, included with the product is the, the product, the Velcro straps, um, a lens cleaning cloth to wipe the, the top off, um, instruction sets, uh, you know, the cautions and things that you, you need to have. And then the, the pictorial brochure of how uh, to place and use it. Um, it all comes together in, in uh, the box. Lovely. So then the use typically would be a half an hour a day sitting with the lights turned on and irradiating yourself, irradiating yourself with this 980. That, that's somewhere in the purple or beyond, isn't it? Uh, that's an infrared wavelength. Infrared? Yeah, that's infrared. Okay. Hmm. And, and there's a very good reason that you, you uh, it's a probably a good point to make. So the 980 beyond actually having a very well proven uh, cellular level reaction, it's also not absorbed in the melanin. And why is that important? Because if you have a, a infrared, some infrared wavelengths are absorbed in the melanin, it means that if you have a, a darker color skin, then more of the laser energy is absorbed in the surface of the skin and it doesn't penetrate deep. So by the 980 not being absorbed in the melanin, it has a, a penetration that's not dependent on skin color. And that means it's good across all different types of ethnic, um, you know, ethnic, ethnic boundaries. So that's yeah. one of the one of the benefits to that specific wavelength. And, and we're also cautioned not to put it over clo dark clothing. You would need to put it right up against the skin because the colors of the clothes could block it as well. All right. So that's the how we use it. It seems easy enough. Um, if is there a chance that as any of those lights will die out or do they have like 10 year life or what, what do you expect? Yeah, they have thousands of hours of, of use and you're only using them a, a half an hour at a time. So the, it, it's uh, going to last for years. Okay. Uh, we offer a one year, uh, you know, warranty on the, on the product. We offer a 30 day money back guarantee as well. If it doesn't work for the person for whatever reason, some people convince themselves that whatever they take won't work for them. And uh, they have a propensity to not heal themselves for whatever the, the reasons are. And Should we expect a 30-day miracle or is a 30-day I can tell long you enough? that you can, in one treatment, that's why I, this company won my heart. I had something similar to neuropathy in my feet, but it wasn't that, but it was similar, but where like an arthritis or something where there's lots of pain and tingling going on. One treatment relieved the pain. Only thing that ever could that I had found. So I had to have more of it. And the more I had of it, the more the pain relieved. Then I got one myself and the pain started just going away because every time it would come up, I'd apply that to it. Think so, of it as a, it's a, it, um, it's a, it changes. So it, you know, Zedek had a, a great effect where he used it and he saw an immediate result. 
And uh, if you use the McGill pain scale as an example, and you say, oh, so I'm, I'm, just, I'm at an eight to a 10, and I use the device. And a couple of days later, that may be a six to an eight. And then a couple of days later, that may be a four to a six. So over time, uh, it, it drops. But uh, if I should point out, if there's an underlying mechanical problem, you have a broken bone. If you don't get the bone set properly, then this particular device isn't really going to help unless you take care of, me of the mechanical problem first. If you have a disease state that is uh, um, in your blood, um, while this can help reduce the inflammation, it may not take the disease state away depending on what the underlying causes are. So it's meant to treat pain and inflammation, um, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be a a cure-all, and I don't want to paint it as a panacea of saying it solves everything, but it definitely reduces pain and, and inflammation for sure in a one lot of, our, of different types of things. One of our most famous clients, patients, um, 94 years young, had swollen feet, all kinds of pain in her feet, but took good care of her body. Everything else okay. She began using it right away, and she had to have one one machine for each foot. <laughs> then she sold three, four, five, six copies as time went on to all of her friends because they had helped her so much in reducing the inflammation and bringing life and energy back to her feet that it, 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 it's a testimonial unto itself. All right. So Jim, could you talk a bit about how it's different from the typical LED laser units out there. I mean, there, there are books out that talk about red light treatments. There, there are several companies that sell these panels of lights that uh, you're supposed to stand in front of. I, I can, I'm not recalling the brands now, but I remember there are several uh, companies out there promoting this sort of thing. So that's yeah, a very, that's very good question. A very Jim, good question. A perfect answer why it's convincing that this is a step above all of those. So the, the, the typical LED banks of light that you see the, that have red lights or they have lines of red lights and blue lights and green lights, um, those are LEDs in a row. And there's not a lot of thought into the penetration of the light and into the power density. So basically the physics isn't well studied. Um, when I see people say, oh, this red light is going to just penetrate deep into your body. I'm sorry, but as a scientist, it's not. Um, you know, there's a very much a penetration curve into the human tissue that's nowadays very well modeled. And I mean, so for, for, that, light, for that, I could just sit by a hot stove and get some infrared penetrating. Right. right. You can get some, some infrared penetration and get a thermal effect from any kind of infrared, an infrared spa, you're gonna get some vasodilation from infrared light because it creates warmth and heat. But it's a different scenario to say, how does that light interact with the cell at 37 degrees C at your, your body temperature? Does it actually create a cascade of biological um, events? Then it's another thing to say, What's the energy level? If you know you need a certain amount of energy deep down into the muscle to, to create a reaction, and you know that each layer of tissue has an absorption, then what happens to the light as it, as it passes through? You need to start with enough to get enough deep down to create that cellular level reaction. So most people grab an LED devices, and as I mentioned earlier, they have these bell-shaped curves of light. So some of the light works, but a lot of it doesn't, it has no cellular level reaction. So you have these great lights, but the actual effective wavelength is low in optical power because it's only one part of the bandwidth. So this device is 980, it is one wavelength. And that wavelength, the cellular reaction is well known. The penetration through each tissue layer is as well known and has been well modeled. So it's predictable with what you start with and what you end with, because there's not another noise. There's not 720, there's not uh, um, 810, and the, there, there's not these other wavelengths that are causing these other um, effects that could actually impede the, the laser light. And so I'd say the difference is that 
I chose to stick with a very specific wavelength of light, not a bandwidth of light, and that I've well modeled it and studied it at a university level with what the chain reactions are of the cellular level reactions to know and make it predictable. The rest becomes math, complicated math, but it becomes math. If, I take, if it takes this amount of energy to stimulate the cell, what do I have to do to get it through seven layers of tissue to get that amount? What's that power density have to be? And is there an effect on time, too short, too long? So these protocols at the specific wavelength are, are well thought out, as opposed to taking a bunch of LEDs and saying, I know these LEDs will warm the skin. I've heard red light does this, and therefore I'm gonna make a product. So I would say that uh, my device is very predictable because it's been very well uh, studied in terms of what it does in the body. Jim, no. could you also explain the, how the power source itself also drives the light and how that affects the Epic laser versus these others that are on the market? Yeah, so the, the other thing to think about is the, uh, I mean, there's a lot of physics that, that go in with what looks like a simple array of, of um, beams. So you have a, you know, have a, a power so source that drive these single wavelength emitters, but they emit light at an angle. That angle is predictable. And so if you put them in a right position together, then those circles all meet at the top and you have a consistent power density across the surface area. That's key to the clinical success of the, of the product. And so using the right uh, power source, the right type of power supply to make sure that that emitter emits the right wavelength at 980 is, is really, uh, 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 they're all key. You use a crappy, noisy power supply, then that can cause, you know, issues. So yeah. you want to get the right optical, you know, output and power. Right. Okay. So the whole lot of understanding and study precedes this, uh, decision, right? Right. What seems like a, on the surface, you know, I've, I've been involved with medical product development for 35 years. So I've always tried to make devices seem simple, even though they're quite complicated. The, the, the science might be quite complicated yeah. underneath. Yeah. For the casual user, you want it to be simple. You want it to appear simple. You don't want it to be packed with so much technology and cabling and all that it's difficult to learn how to use because then people won't use it. You want to make it simple and straightforward, but you want to have the solid science underneath. And throughout his career, Jim has worked with other laser companies and medical engineering companies to create devices where he was a consultant and he helped them develop their product. And so he, he realized that I can make devices myself. I have enough knowledge. I can remove the, the middle man. I, the topper man and I will be the one getting the public devices that really work for them instead of helping the company go out and sell them to the people. So he's sort of removed all the middle sources and he's offering the raw product in a way it can be used for people. It's been very impressive if you really had the time to listen to all of his stories of all the places that he's worked and, and um, programs he's been consultant on. We're really happy to have such a, a being. And we call him our gentleman, Jim Oneck, because he's really a kind soul who, uh, based on our met work of metaphysics, there's the reason why are you into the healing? Why do you do healing work? Well, we, we're in this, in our, our founder, our inventor is a kind healing soul that really wants to see people get better and get healed from their ailments. And so it's a, it's a blessing to be associated with such an individual. All right. Well, this is most encouraging. So we will be posting links uh, with our podcast where people can get hold of either ourselves or you to um, get the help. I am very grateful to be introduced. Thank you. This is Martin Pitella for Life Enthusiast with Jim Onik for Epoch Lasers and Sadok Ra Osiris, I guess for Epoch Lasers as well, right? Yes, sir. Thank you very I much. Yes. Thank you kindly.